Hi, kitty cats. In my last video, I talked about the sense of relief after gender-affirming surgery. I never have to deal with those parts again, and that affects me deep inside. But there is a sense of relief that extends outward as well, and it dovetails with the accusation that transgender women are just men invading women's spaces to prey on the real women. So first, some background. I understand what it feels like to be victimized by men. I understand what it feels like to be physically assaulted by a man. I understand what it feels like to be sexually assaulted by a man. And I understood what both of those felt like by the age of 13. Now, some people are going to laugh at these experiences, claiming, I still can't understand what it feels like to stand powerless before the systemic injustice of a patriarchy. And they ignore my rape and abuse, both symptoms of the systemic injustice of a patriarchy. I know. And I also know I would never inflict these feelings upon another human because there is nothing worse than the fear caused by being powerless, by never being able to win in a game we didn't choose to play. I would never inflict that pain. I know it. But my body betrayed me. I still carried parts with me that others had used to inflict that pain. I carried those parts into every bathroom and locker room I entered. Now I was welcomed in those spaces as a sister. No woman screamed and accused me of invading her space. No woman feared I was there for the express purpose of inflicting pain on her. But every self-righteous right-wing politician erroneously declaring my intent in his spit-flecked sermon increased the danger I might someday be perceived as he had portrayed me. I know I was not, and never would be a danger to other women. I know it. But other women never did. And the sense of relief I feel at never having to feel those parts and the emotions that came with them extends outwardly to all women as well. I feel relief that no woman I encounter in women's spaces can feel. I would inflict pain on her with those parts ever again. And I don't feel that relief for my sake. I feel it for hers. And that's what gender-affirming surgery brings. Freedom from the worry I could incite fear in others, even when I knew I would not. Talk soon. Bye.